All right, let's get some coding done. First thing I want to do is start a new shell session. This is taking a while to start up. Come on, let's go. There we go. My shell is taking a long time to start. Do you have this problem? Hey there, I'm a heavy shell user for both my day job and my side projects. I use the ZSH shell and I've configured it to my liking. Recently, I started to get frustrated at how long the shell would take to load, causing a delay between when I opened the session and the time that I could enter a command that I wanted to run. The previous intro was a bit of an exaggeration, but you can imagine how frustrating it can be opening a shell multiple times per day and having to wait before getting to move on to the next command or task that I want to run. So I have to try and fix this. My ZSH configuration is open source and available online for anyone to use as inspiration for their configuration. Link in description. I don't expect anyone to use the repository directly other than myself. So first off, how long is ZSH taking to load? We can find this out by running time ZSH dash dash interactive dash C exit. This command will run the ZSH shell in interactive mode and immediately execute the exit command and time the whole process. So we can run it now once. And we can see that uh, took about 3.6 seconds. Let's run it a few times um, so that we can get more of an average. I've written a script called utils measure ZSH startup. This will run the script five times. And so we can see that it's taking between 3.8 and 4.1 seconds to run just the startup of my shell. So what is taking so long? Initially, I suspected that it was the git status module of my prompt. So I investigated faster solutions for that. However, I stumbled across this blog post by Aaron Schuler, and it suggested that NVM was possibly the culprit. I'll talk a little bit about what MVM is in a moment, but this blog post gives us a way to profile our ZSH configuration and tell us how long each part of it takes. So let's add the profiling commands to my ZSH configuration and see what it tells us. We need to edit my ZSH RC file. And the very first line, we need to say zmod load zsh z profile. And then the very last line of the file, we need to say z profile. We'll save that and quit. And what we'll do is we'll run the time command because we just want to see the output once. So we'll run this again. It's going to take between 3.8 and 4 seconds to run. We get a lot of output here, but if we scroll all the way up to the top of the output from this command, so here is where we executed times ESH, we can see that these top five uh, sections of the configuration are all related to NVMRC. This is how long each one took. So just this load NVMRC took 1.1 seconds and then 500 milliseconds, 400 milliseconds, so on and so forth. So the problem in my configuration is definitely NVM. So what is NVM? NVM stands for Node Version Manager, and this is a pretty uh, valuable piece of software that allows me and other developers that run Node.js projects to ensure that we have the correct version of Node.js running for that particular project. So I've been using NVM for a long time, I've also configured it in a way so that it runs every time I change directory inside my shell. So it will check if the directory that I'm changing into has a MVMRC file specifying the version of node that is required in that directory. Let's have a look at my configuration to see what it's doing regarding NVM. So we can see here on line 14, 15, um, I'm setting MVM dir. And then down here on line 61, we're doing some more MVM stuff all the way down to line 88. So that's approximately 27 lines of MVM configuration, and there's no more MVM stuff anywhere else 
So 27 plus this extra one at the top is 28 lines of NVM configuration. And it's that configuration that is causing the slowdown, at least the majority of the slowdown that I'm experiencing. I searched for an alternative to NVM and found Fast Node Manager, FNM. I installed and configured Fast Node Manager as instructed on the GitHub page here. So for Mac OS, I used brew, so brew install FNM. And then scrolling further down, it explains that in order to start up FNM, we need to add this one line here to the ZSH RC file including the use on CD. So that will ensure that we're checking the version of node every time we change directory. So let's see how long ZSH takes to start up now. I'm going to run the same measure ZSH startup script. It will run five times. My configuration has been updated to remove the NVM configuration and add the one line that is the FNM configuration. We can see now it's taking 0.7 seconds to run over the five times. So we can see that we've gone from four, basically four seconds to 0 0.7 seconds. There's still some improvement that we can make here, but this is a big jump in the performance of this shell startup. And I also wanna call out how simple the configuration is for FNM. It's just a single line versus the 28 lines that I had in my previous configuration. So that's how I sped up my shell startup. I hope it helps you too. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving it a like. If you want to see more content from me, consider subscribing. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment down below. This is Dane Harnett Debs. Hey, are you folks still here? Hello? Do you think you're the only software engineer on YouTube? No, of course not. There's the Primogen, Theo, TJ, Trash Dev. Chris Griffin, oh, and Shufti247, well, he's on Twitch, and he plays games, but he's still a software engineer. Mr. Harnett, you've become part of a bigger universe. You just don't know it yet. Well, I listed like five or six others. Wait, who the hell are you? Rick Murray, head of engineering. <laughs> Two first names. I'm here to talk to you about the subscriber initiative.